The overall idea behind the digital twin was um, to have a digital factory on the screen show exactly what's happening in the real factory. In Chemifarm, I am a chief uh, operating officer, meaning that I take care of all the day-to-day -day activities and tasks. So shortly, we produce uh, disinfectants, cleaning agents, soaps, and anything that's needed in medical institutions to clean rooms, wounds, people, and so on. L4MS is a European project uh, which uh, tries to help small and medium-sized companies to automate their logistic processes. Uh, inside the factory. We started off with putting together a really detailed uh, 3D model of uh, the whole factory floor layout. Uh, we even went as far as putting in all the tool racks, all the bins, all the small details and, uh, and played through the new layout in, in virtual reality actually. We had production managers and different people walking around with uh, virtual reality glasses and trying to imagine and figure out where things would actually be and how the processes would work. After we got the 3D model finished, in our opinion, we realized that there was an important part of one manufacturing line that we hadn't considered that would make the, the whole manufacturing line longer. So we had to rotate the whole manufacturing layout 90 degrees, which meant basically changing a lot of the infrastructure as well, which may have seen like small details, but would have meant uh, several weeks of delays. L4MS has a really big pool of specialists and really good people who know what they're doing from all over Europe. And the first contact point for us really was uh, IMAC from Tallinn Technical University, uh, who helped us put together the business case and figure out what are the problems and possible solutions. Later on, they actually even developed miniature uh, experiment in their laboratory where they used bits of our um, manufacturing lines and had actual AGVs, the driving between them doing tasks. Later on, Kina also joined into, into our problem and uh, helped to finalize the 3D model and simulations. There are some details that may not be so uh, obvious to the naked eye, but in 3D planning where you have all the infrastructure elements, electricity, pipes and all those things, you can really play around and see for the best fit and how these things work. So. It saved, really saved us a lot of time and a lot of resources. It's not about implementing just one technology and as a, as a one-off thing. It's about being ready for change all the time. And even though we didn't get to the point where we have uh, AGVs running around uh, our factory floor and taking everything everywhere autonomously, we still figured out how to make data quality better, how to make data move in a better way, uh, give people data to make better decisions. And we're just building up towards being ready for the future in that sense. When uh, defining the business case and when uh, doing the 3D model and looking into your processes, you learn more about uh, how your own business or how your own uh, factory actually works, how all the information flows, how all the processes are set up, and it really just puts you in a better position to apply that over and over again in the future as well.